So here it is. This is that black powder I made. I don't even know how many pounds, a couple pounds worth. Put a ton of chemicals into it, which is very expensive to uh, do so. so. So to have a couple pounds of black powder, not to mention the time invested, not work out, it's pretty discouraging. But let me show you how it burns. It should not burn like this. It is not how black powder is supposed to burn. And if you look at those little, almost little balls, it's just not burning properly. So now I need to figure out what went wrong. As I've said in other videos, I don't um, have any problem posting my mistakes uh, because I learn through my mistakes and hopefully you guys can too and not repeat my mistakes. But if you look at this, I made a crap ton of black powder. Um, ended up running for these, like two at a time. I think I ran at 14 hours per. So I've spent a ton of time making this stuff and I'll always do a burn test at the end to, to make sure that it's good black powder. Uh, worst thing I could do is granulate the black powder, throw it in a big mortar, spend a week making a mortar, send it up only to realize it is not gonna work. So let me show you what's wrong with this. Um, we're gonna figure out what's wrong with it. It does not burn properly, let me show you. So I figured out what the issue was. It took me a long time to figure out with black powder, there's only a few different chemicals that go into it. So it could be a bad batch of a specific chemical. Um, scratched my head for a long time, spent a lot of time on this because like I said, I've got, it might be four pounds worth of that stuff, which is really discouraging. <laughs> so I really wanted to figure it out. Um, got. 75, 15, 10, charcoal is one, sulfur is one, potassium nitrate is the other. One concern was, did I put ammonium nitrate or something into it um, instead of like potassium nitrate, and that could have been an issue. What I figured out was the charcoal that I used. If you look at this stuff right here, this is the charcoal that I used. And let me show you how this charcoal burns. So plain air float charcoal should not burn, really. I mean, maybe it'll catch a spark and then just slightly pull a little bit of a yellow to it, but it should not burn. This is the charcoal, the charcoal that I put in with my black powder. Let me show you how it burns. I think. I wonder if it's wet. So yeah, as pretty as that is, that, my friend, is not charcoal, that is tiger's tail. I went back to this container of charcoal that now I realized was probably tiger's tail. This was not originally on there. I spray painted it after the fact, after I realized um, how much I had screwed up. And if you look, it's very faint, but there's tiger's something. So instead of, uh, with the 75-15-10, instead of putting 15% air float charcoal, I put 15% tiger's tail. And tiger's tail has um, a lot of the same components. In fact, it's got all the same components. It's just the ratio is different, so it's not gonna work. So at first I thought maybe I had just ruined four pounds of black powder. Um, I sat down for probably 20 minutes trying to figure it out, but Took me a long time, but I, I put all of the black powder, black powder that I had made together, uh, weighed it out, figured it exactly how much more I had to put back in of the sulfur and charcoal and uh, potassium nitrate to turn into the 751510 because I had not had a 751510. It may have been, and I can't remember what it was, but it could have been like a 60, um, 30, 10 or a 60, 32, 8 or something like that. And that's why it was not burning correctly. So it took me a while to figure it out, but I figured out exactly how much I had to go back in, um, put it in and I milled it up. And now this is how it burns. So for one thing you notice, it's not quite as dark. It's probably kind of hard to see on here. But this is after I added sulfur, potassium nitrate, and charcoal in different ratios to get to that 75, 15, 10. It involved a lot of math and a lot of me crossing my fingers, but this is how it burns now.
If you look at that, not a lot of waste or not a lot of residual, not a... Versus if you look over here, look at the residual, that's all waste. That all means that the ratio's off. So, although I was very discouraged at first about this whole problem because it was a lot of money, four pounds of making black powder only to realize he screwed it up. Um, I was able to figure out the ratio to put back into it to get it close enough to that 75, 15, 10 to make it quality black powder. So disaster averted. Lesson learned though, there's any time you're putting the wrong chemical into something, it's a bad deal. In this case, I did not put the wrong chemical into something. Um, I just, well, I did, but it's not like I added a different kind of chemical. There's certain chemicals that, certain chemicals that look very similar. Here's the potassium nitrate that I use in black powder. This is potassium perchlorate. It looks pretty much the exact same. Thing is, potassium chlorate is very dangerous to have sulfur anywhere near potassium perchlorate. So, it's extremely important to have your ore chemicals labeled out correctly. Um, you know, worst case scenario would be me accidentally, mistakenly putting this in instead of this to make black powder with that 75, 15, 10, 10 being the sulfur, and sulfur plus this equals extremely unstable. That one was very powerful. Um, so that's my fault. I, thank goodness, didn't do that. But I definitely screwed up. So this now I know is tiger's tail and not black and not a uh, not charcoal. So I won't make that mistake again. Although it wasn't dangerous to do this. Um, anytime you screw up ratios, it's dangerous though. But needless to say, it was less reactive, but extremely discouraging. Um, huge headache trying to figure out how to resolve it. Uh, a lot of money down the drain, but thank goodness I was able to resolve it. And with all of that, that's what I made all this out of. Which again, can you imagine me spending 28 hours of milling time? And then I don't know how long to go ahead and roll the rice holes, black powder rice holes, more hours, and then drying only to realize that it's garbage. That would have sucked. So thank goodness I figured out the issue before I started rolling it onto here, onto the rice holes. Otherwise, it would have been complete garbage. And that would have been very discouraging because the amount of time I put into it is just a lot, a lot of time. So lesson learned. I'm an idiot sometimes. And when I'm an idiot, I'm not afraid to show you guys. And hopefully you'll learn from my mistakes. Tiger's tail looks extremely similar to uh, air float charcoal because there's a lot of air float charcoal in it. Um, so it's extremely important to label everything and double, triple check everything. Um, so hopefully I never, ever make that mistake again. That being said, it was kind of nice. I was able to figure out the ratio of what to put back into it to remediate the mistake I made and not have complete waste of four pounds of black powder in both time as well as uh, chemicals because chemicals are expensive. <laughs>